Okay, uh, more attacks. <laughs> um, basically, this is all the same type of activity. Um, this is using or misusing the um, the protocols uh, in a way that the designers uh, never intended and probably never considered. So one of the attacks was the ping of death. The uh, ping of death, you would send a ping packet uh, to the target and it would fall over and die. And uh, why was that? Well, the a ping packet is, uh, you know, it's very basic. Um, there's not an awful lot of uh, data that is necessarily a part of it. Um, you've got the uh, originating address, you've got the destination address, uh, you've got uh, some flags indicating uh, that it is a system packet and particularly a ping packet and and that's about it so you know you can probably get away in under a hundred bits for these things uh, so uh, what somebody tried was okay let's make it bigger let's let's make it huge and um, and they would uh, send out this this enormous ping packet which you know, basically had a bunch of garbage in it. It didn't really matter what, you know, it could be all zeros, whatever. Um, the data didn't matter. The fact that it was huge mattered because ping is simple. Ping packets are small. Uh, they don't need to be any particularly great size. And so uh, an awful lot of people in implementing the ping protocol had never considered the possibility of somebody sending an absolutely enormous ping packet. And so the programming wasn't built to handle it, and in many cases it just meant that the, uh, the network stack, the protocol stack, um, would fail, and fail in such a way that everything failed. It just stopped talking to the network. So, um, that is the, the ping of death. Now, uh, there's, there are variations on that theme. Well, let's, let's go on to some of the others. Um, uh, and fragmentation types of attacks. Um, uh, teardrop is, is one example, and I can't remember exactly which one it is, but... When you have a packet at one layer that is greater than the size of the packet that is handled by the next lower layer, of course the packet gets fragmented, broken into a number of packets, and sent as a number of packets. And then reassembled when it gets to the destination. The thing is that people would um, deliberately craft packets saying, okay, this is part of a packet that needs to be reassembled, but they would ensure that the numbers didn't work. They would say, um, you know, this uh, packet is to go in uh, areas 100 to 200, but it's 150 bytes long. And of course, you know, that's larger than can be accommodated in the reassembly. Uh, so, doesn't work. Again, uh, in crafting and implementing the network protocols in various places, people didn't consider that uh, attackers would be deliberately crafting packets that lied, that were not 
giving the correct information. And sometimes um, it would overlap. Uh, sometimes it would leave a gap, a space. And again, you know, because uh, they were trying to do the reassembly on information that was deliberately faulty, uh, sometimes the protocol stacks would fail and, you know, result in the network connection going down. Sometimes resulting in the, um, you know, the system overall, you know, the, the computer itself uh, crashing. Uh, it depends on how they handled uh, these errors. So, you know, again, error handling, proper error handling, considering, never trusting uh, that uh, the normal course of events is, is what is going to show up on your doorstep is, you know, part of security. And it's an important part. Um, it's kind of a generic part. Um, but it, you know, it, it results in, in these things. Now, um, Smurf attacks. We don't see Smurf-specific attacks anymore. Um, uh, Frago, Ping of Death, Teardrop. Um, you know, these are specific attacks. But the same concepts that have been used in these old network attacks, we are still seeing. They are coming along again. We are seeing attacks against um, more modern, more advanced applications using these same concepts of uh, malicious malformation, of misusing the protocol, using the protocol in ways that were not intended, and um, using the, uh, the errors, the mistakes, the um, uh, failures uh, to handle those issues properly that we have seen as attacks to uh, uh, to mount an attack and, and get deeper into uh, a system uh, to intrude to um, uh, obtain confidential information that you should not have so um, while these specific attacks uh, may have been fixed as people fixed their implementations. The ideas of doing this type of thing is, uh, it's still very much in evidence, it's still happening, it's still being used for attacks, and we need to guard against that. We need to validate absolutely everything. And we'll talk about more generic uh, activities for protection against uh, attacks overall uh, next time.